Welcome back to Tenacious Viking Plays Timber and Stone. We are on episode two. Let's see how we're doing here in Woodrock. Most unoriginal name ever for a timber and stone town. Do you suppose that we actually have uh, the wood chopper coming back with some wood so people can build some stuff because we don't have anything to build anything from. <gasps> we got a carpenter's bench. Yay. Now we need a mason's bench. And we don't have any... I, I'm not going to be in a... Well, I'm not going to be in a big rush to um, to make uh, bricks this time. So I really should find that stonemason and assign him to something else. Probably. Blizzy can't do anything else. Really? Why do I need another mining pile? Is it because we got so much dirt now, or what? Because he can't have made that much. Doesn't have, we don't have any stone. That's bizarre. Mining. I built it. Well, he's supposed to build that. How come he's not? How come that's not building? All right. Let's see who's supposed to build it. One does not simply farm without a hoe. Well, I know. I'm trying to get. You know, I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Um. Mining stockpile. The miner builds that. Oh, he needs stone to build the stockpile. Well, isn't that something? So, okay, oops, so he's supposed to be... Well, what's... Oh, I got dirt in the... <sighs> well, what am I supposed to do with that? So the mining supply in the wagon apparently has dirt in it because I don't have any other resources. Do I? Dirt. Yeah, it's got 19 dirt, so now there isn't room for stone, and I need stone to build a mining pile. Well, how am I supposed to do that? I can make bricks out of it. Okay. I will do that. Let's make bricks. Nope. Building. I need raw stone to go with the dirt. Uh, I'm going to try that. I think we're in a quandary here. We may have made a huge blunder in clearing this dirt right away, because I didn't realize that would be counted as mining storage. We never started. He never even went over there. Do I have how many miners? Do I have? I just have the one. One. Two miners, and nobody's gathering the stone. Why would they not gather the stone? Okay. I wonder if there's a little room on a builder's cart. What does it take to build a builder's cart? Logs. Let's make a builder's cart and see if that holds any stone. And in the meantime, I am going to cancel the dirt and only have them mine stone over here. 
see if I can get myself out of this quandary. I don't know if the builder's cart holds stone or not. <coughs> capacity. That should do it. I'll have to get somebody to build it. Why is nobody building it? Because we don't have any logs. Okay, we're gonna find another wood chopper that's not doing anything, which is pretty much everybody. I'm gonna take the farmer, the forager, we need the food, carpenter, the miner. We will make him a wood chopper for now, except we don't have any axes because we don't have any stone. Ugh. Well, that really stinks. I don't know what we can do. I think uh, I got one stone axe. Okay. So where is my wood chopper? There he is. Why is he not doing anything? There's an axe out there somewhere. It's supposed to be. Okay, let's see what he's doing or not doing and why. Waiting. Why are you waiting? <clears throat> Let's see how much inventory you've got. Um, Thirteen wood logs. He apparently doesn't know enough to unload his inventory. You're kind of a special kind of stupid, aren't you? Uh, there's no way to to order them to. Um, well, I guess I can lower that, force him to unload his his inventory. Let's see if he does that. Wood seven. Okay, we've got a few there. <coughs> so what's why is his building current not being built then? Oh, 12 logs. We need five more. Well, you've got 13 on you. Oh, them, dummy. If I force his inventory down to nothing, will he finally unload that inventory? Nope. Do something. Doofus. No. I don't know why he's not unloading the inventory. Because that's kind of what we need. Well, I guess the game's living up to its name, Timber and Stone. If you don't have Timber and Stone, you're dead in the water. Inventory at night. I mean, 
Why is he keeping those when he can't do any more anyway? That's weird. Alright, we're going to go all the way down to zero. And see if that makes you uh, unload your inventory. What are you doing? Oh, I know. I will make him a tailor. And then he'll have to unload his inventory. Right? He's not doing anything. Why is nobody doing anything? He's just standing there like bumps on a log. I don't understand. <clears throat> Blacksmith, this. Does he have a He does not have an axe. <sighs> but why won't he do anything? What was, you know, what's the deal? I don't understand. He goes to a tree and he doesn't do anything with it. We'll see if he chops it down or not. He's got an axe yet, but he was just standing there. So dumb. Well, in that case, I'm going to... Well, that should give him a maximum inventory. He'll have to clear his inventory now, I think. If this axe breaks, I'm going to be so annoyed. Uh. Oliver, you're my best guy. I'm watching you close. Do not disappoint me. <clears throat> now he's pondering. Ponder, ponder, ponder. You know, if any enemies come now, we're cooked. Oh good, those are the holes right there where spiders are going to hatch out of eventually. Great. Why are you waiting? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I don't have time to wait for all this. I want to get, I want to see something happen. Anything. Farmer can't farm without a hoe. Miners can't mine because they don't have space. We're waiting on the wood chopper to chop wood so the carpenter can make a builder's cart. And he's just standing there. For some reason. Oop. Okay, remove the stump too. He won't. It. Does it take him that long to figure out that his inventory is full and that he has to come over and. How much experience does he have? Oliver, you're supposed to be an experienced wood chopper. You should know these things. Oliver! Four. He's a four. And he doesn't know enough to go empty his inventory. So. Seriously. Where's my forager? Is he doing anything or doesn't he have any tools either? And he's standing around too. What do I do now? I'm tired, kind of tired. Riding in the wagon for 60 days and finally got somewhere. Don't let me rest. 
Let's see what it says for him waiting. He didn't tell me anything. Oh, okay. Check your inventory. Alright. Flashes of inspiration there. I'll bet you that's what it says for Oliver, too. Checking inventory. Waiting for three seconds. Yep. Checking inventory. Waiting for two seconds. What does it say when they're going somewhere deliberately? Walking purposefully or something? I don't know. Weird. Well, here's where the game slows down. If you don't have very many resources initially and you can't get those resources gathered in time to build more resources. I have no idea what he's waiting for, but uh, we will wait for him together and we'll talk about our long-term strategy. Hey, we're getting food out of this, I think. Yeah. Which is good since we don't have... Um, so now I can expand this farm. Now the problem with expanding it like this is it reads it as two farms. So if you make changes, it's two fields, even though it looks like one. I can put them together. Where did he get a hoe all of a sudden? I thought he didn't have a hoe. You lying little... Well, I'm going to expand that then until we get more hoes done. Do -do 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 -do. What is he doing, my goodness? Do I have him as a as wait in a hall while idle? Yeah. Uh. I should put him to sleep at dusk just so he goes and empties his inventory, but I'm not going to. Because I don't want to mess all that up. Chickens, man, I could start a heck of a chicken farm if I had the resources and the people to do that. But I don't. Oh, and what little precious little wood we have, I'm going to use up on the fire here. Cook that chicken. start over again because it's a lot of work to get these guys set up and to find a good spot okay it's not that much work but it's you know it's some work but here's what I'll do um, we'll wrap this up in a, in a minute or two um, so this nightfall comes if we don't get and I'll, I'll just wait uh, off camera for uh, for night to come if we don't get the wood we need to build this and bring up some space so we can build this uh, I'll start a new world off camera, and um, episode three will be right at the beginning of um, of Woodrock, New Woodrock. <laughs> that is my new plan. Um. Yeah. Hmm. You know, tense times is one thing in this game. They're kind of a challenge, but there's things to do. But waiting for stuff to happen, waiting for these guys just simply to unload their inventory is kind of ridiculous. I feel me. Rip, guys. Oliver? Oliver? Wake up. Oh, Oliver? Oh, whoa. Please. Please stop staring at the stump and go back and unload your inventory. We really need the wood. I don't know why I have to say Oliver in an English accent. Why is that? Mm. Oliver Twist, I suppose. But this is kind of a nice area. I suppose I ought to go on a hunt for... Nobody's doing anything. The forager's just standing there, too. What is the deal? 
Are they that tired or what? Been a long first day. Ooh, there's lots of stone over here. Nice. Along the waterfront. I don't want us to, to start over again. I like this area a lot. Oh yeah, I should be holding shift. And yeah, it's, I waited too late to do this because it's so dark now. I can't see squat. Ooh, nice little hill here. Cool. Well, day one has been remarkably uneventful. Hasn't it? Except for the farmer. Oop. He's the only one accomplishing anything. Screenshots here. See what happens soon as night time falls. They will gather around this cart and fall asleep. And then wild things will come and kill them. No doubt. I wonder if they are just all are supposed to be tired or what the deal is here because. This is kind of dumb. I think for evening purposes, I'm going to turn my farmer into an infantry. And my stonemason into an archer. Now, unload your inventory, you jerk. Yes, finally. Oh my god. So now the builder's cart is... Uh-oh. Well, they can go as fast as they can. Builder's cart is blue, so they have the resources to build the builder's cart. That should give me enough room for some stone. And, uh, yeah. So we will put uh, wood rock to bed for the night. And... Um, pause. I'll, uh, I'll do some work overnight probably before we play again so that we're ready to start in the morning. That seems to work pretty well. Um, and uh, see how we do in episode three. I think we have a chance now. I think. So thank you for joining me and uh, check back next time for episode three of Timber and Stone.